Hey guys, uh, my name is Brandon. Um, I am a guitarist, and as a guitarist, I like to try new things. Um, I've already experimented with some things in the past. This is the first thing, first time I've ever experimented with trying to relic an acoustic guitar. Um, I've never tried doing like an electric, um, but I tried doing. This is the first time I've done. I'm doing an acoustic, and I've already. I wish I kind of filmed what I did before. But since before I get even too much further into it, the only thing I really did was finish the top. You know, maybe I feel like it could take, you know, even longer if you really wanted to make it look really old, kind of Willie Nelson's uh, trigger style. Um, but I'm going to tell you how I did it. Is it uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. It's a little time consuming, but, you know, it, it's pretty worth it. I got this guitar for 40 bucks from my buddy. And, um, you know, I've never tried relicking a guitar or anything like that before. 40 bucks, I already have two acoustic guitars. You know, I got my nice acoustics. And this is a Jasmine by Takamini. Um, so it's nothing too special. So I thought, hell, why not? Um, well, first thing what I did, I started doing, uh, started sanding these little pick marks right here. Um, these are like little string, I don't know how you get those, but I kind of saw on older, uh, on some other acoustics, the natural really does that with the strings for some reason, I'm not too sure, but, um, yeah, but I got some heavy picking right here, you know, just some scratches going that way, because if you're heavy picking, that's the way you're going, I know, I know it might seem a little dramatic with the amount of picking, or the scratches that are going that way, but, um, you know, up close you can obviously tell like some of the sanding marks that I've done unfortunately this is, this is my first time so um, just bear with it I'm just giving you guys ideas of how to do it um, the first thing I did like I said I went online to Google and saw some naturally relic guitars and I just saw how they relic like in here or up here in the top for some reason right here where you're picking um, right here gets dirty from your shoulders shoulder sweat shoulder dirt whatever or your elbow your elbow resting on your uh, armpit, resting on it, and you know, got the heavy pick marks here, um, and that's all I did. You now I kind of just used a heavy grit sandpaper and started by doing like some of these spots, getting them really into it. I did use a sander for a couple things, like like right here, right here, and some other spots, but I didn't want to sand it too much because you know that's when you can start telling that it was done on purpose. Um, I wanted to look like it wanted to look like it was it was actually uh, relic, and it's, it doesn't look too bad for it being the first time I've ever done it. Um, but yeah, that sanding the sanding part was pretty it's pretty time consuming because you don't know you know once you start playing it or if you have, if you do want to play it you don't know if these are gonna like you know turn back to. You know when you start rubbing it it could turn back to like almost the same color like the finish was just by like the dirt so you just kind of want to make sure you get it sanded in and some spots pretty well like I made a pretty big divot like I can feel like the lumps going through here how I uh, sanded it down but I'm gonna you know as far as the sanding process you know that's all I did you can uh, see the sand marks right here see more of the I guess at this angle you can really see those sand marks I see I'm not done like uh, this top was the I just finished like finished the top um, but I want to kind of I want to get it you know I want to get to the point where you know it looks like it's actually been played relic and you know just try and fool some people and you know just get some spots that you know when you do the pictures just get the spots that don't don't need to be exactly what the other guitar looked like just kind of get it as close as you can you know it's, this one's like I feel like this one's like it's pretty relic but it's not like a heavy relic um, it's a pretty cheap guitar so like the finish would never crack like this or whatever and uh, so how I did that these uh, cracks right here um, I got myself a ruler actually stole my girlfriend's uh, son's uh, roll-up ruler and it's got dinosaurs on it 
It's pretty sweet. Didn't have one, so I found that one. Any ruler will do. So what you do, you know, you don't, you want to be pretty straight with these lines because, you know, that's how the wood grain follows, you know. So that's where you want to kind of make the scratches is with the wood grain. Like right here, I guess this is a three-piece body. I'm assuming because that's a lot lighter than this, or it's just a free, or it's just a uh, maple, or not a maple, it's just like some type of veneer on the top. As you can see right here, where it's probably plywood. I don't really know what this guitar is made up of. I didn't really bother checking. Not too big of an issue. Cheap guitar. Um, and you can see some spots right here. I think I just may have sanded a little bit. And I've used, to get that color, I used Kiwi polish. I used Kiwi shoe polish to get that darker uh, dirt color. And um, to kind of give it like a brighter finish or like a like kind of a tan finish, I use uh, this old English uh, wood polish with lemon oil. Um, makes your guitar smell nice and good. But uh, also kind of makes it a little golden in some places. Like if I were to put it right here, it would make it pretty, pretty golden. You could re-sand it and get the exact the way, get it exactly the way you want it. Um, so sorry about just getting off track. But so I just held the ruler like that. I got a little knife here, um, and I went down, and I just just went down, uh, kind of with some good pressure. Um, I kind of went over it a couple times to kind of get some like pretty decent like cracks going on here. You know, it's like this one kind of looks, sorry, I can't find my, this crack kind of looks a little made. Like it looks like I, I did that, you know, and there's times where I might go over it and just kind of chisel it and kind of make it look a little more natural, kind of like uh, this one right here. Um, you know, it just takes time, like, get it how you want it. I guess, since you're doing it, it's never going to be too much relic unless you just start making holes in the body of the guitar. But, you know, that's not what I want to do if I wasn't going for that type of look, like the Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson uh, trigger look. But, um, it was just kind of going for a look, like, just a relic job. I've never tried it before. I've painted, painted guitars, um... You know, I've done some stuff too, two guitars, of, but this is, like I said, this is my first time. I feel like for anybody's first time getting a cheap uh, guitar online, Facebook Marketplace, uh, Craigslist, for your friend. I bought this guitar for 40 bucks for my buddy. He was going to fill it with ramen and try and get this hole. I don't know if you guys ever seen that. It's kind of BS to me. Well, all he did was take the chip where he broke it. Uh, he somehow it was in his car. He backed. He was backing up his seat, and he said he just heard crunching, and he took it. He picked it up, and there was a big hole right there. <coughs> Excuse me. But I just got some super glue. I sanded the edges, kind of got it to where it was somewhat, and that's the real real reason why I made it like kind of a relic guitar because it had this hole in it. And it would it would never look good again. I would assume like the resale value would still be at like forty dollars, fifty dollars on Facebook Marketplace because it's a cheap guitar. But um, I, I'm not done with it yet. I haven't have yet to do like any of the sides really, other than my buddy doing that. I'm actually about to start on the neck or on the uh, the headstock, and I'm gonna sand that down to make it a little more darker. I, Kind of like this i'm going to use the kiwi uh, polish i'm going to probably bear that and then put the kiwi polish down make it real dark and um you know once i do that i'm going to sand like around the edges to kind of brighten it up kind of like right here to make it look like you know where against the headstock and uh, make it look a little more old and natural you know natural wood i mean this this um i don't know what the hell they use but it's not it's not good quality wood I'm assuming not like my fender um, or any fender by that matter but yeah that's just how I did it um, if you guys have any questions or anything I'm gonna try and keep up to date with what I'm doing with the guitar um, and hopefully within a couple days maybe a week depending on what I'm doing uh, it'll be done
Uh, maybe I'll make a video of me doing some of this stuff. Um, maybe doing the headstock. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys how to do like how to do the body because I thought it, it didn't look you know too bad for you know, it being my first time. You know, if it was you know it doesn't look like it's purposely done too much. I guess either once I put the strings on it and even play it for a little bit, get some actual dirt and you know wear on it. You know, it could happen to look uh, look a lot better whenever you know, I start playing it. But um, other than that, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But uh, I am out. Thank you, guys.